What is up, everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Yes, that is right. It is a kickball Wednesday. Today is the last game of the regular season. We are playing the team that is actually right behind us in a ranked who has beat us early this year. So we are hoping for a win. We really need to put it to them today. So next week in the playoffs, put some fear into them and we get an easy win. We are looking to repeat our championship run and kickball looking to go back to back. Anyways, the little foreshadowing of what today's video is going to be about. For those of you who are active on Twitter, or for those of you who follow my Twitter page, you can see it pulled up right here. Ripple Van Winkle, XRP News underscore. Do not forget the underscore, people. Give me a follow. We are now over 40,000. Thank you to each and every one of you. But let's foreshadow a little. Today was a good day. For those of you active in Twitter, know what I'm talking about. And that is going to be the vibes, the theme of this video. Yesterday was an amazing day, people. The quote directly from the man himself, Brad Gollinghouse. He said, today was a good day. He said this yesterday. Why did he say that? We're going to get into it because we had massive news come out of the SEC Ripple hearing yesterday. Supposedly the hearing was only supposed to be 30 minutes. It went on for an hour and a half. The phone lines were maxed out at 500 people. Lucky enough, the exit community is so great. We had people in there. We had people covering, doing a little play-by-play -play on Twitter. We're going to jump into that. We're going to talk some Ripple and XRP news. You're going to want to stay tuned. But first, make sure you give me a follow on YouTube. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the thumbs up, it's free. Help support me, support you. Let's have a look at coin market cap. Listen, total market cap's down a little bit, that's okay. We woke up to some red. We knew we were gonna get red at some point, especially in XRP. It can't just have this massive run up, 60, 70% and keep going. It needs to have a little bit of a correction. So we're currently down 9.39%. Yeah, we dipped under a dollar, that's okay. We knew this was coming. We're at 94 cents. The big question here, do we hold above that 91 cent region? We find support in all of the 10 cent zones on the way down, 91, 81, and it's around 71, 61. We need to see where XRP is going to catch. I think we'll hold above 91. Personally, I don't think we're going back down to the 50, 60 cent area. I don't think we're going back down to 70 cents either. We might touch the 80s. Time will tell. I am no Nostradamus, but that is just my for seeings. Bitcoin dominance continues to drop. It is at 56%. This is what we want to see. We want to see money come out of Bitcoin and into XRP. Moving over, my man Harry. Listen, if you don't follow Harry, he is always, always, always spot on with his TA. I follow him very closely. I used to follow Kia Crypto. Kia Crypto isn't here anymore, unfortunately. He's probably taking a break. His account got suspended. He lost like 20,000 followers. He came back, only got like 4,000 back. Listen, that hurts. I know it hurts. So 15 hours ago, Harry said he adjusted the targets back from $1.13 to the last time $1.09. The last target looked like a hot based unknown price action. Consolidation looks over here. A very fizzy push through $1.09 is in the works for traders. So he is stating that we are lining up to break through $1.09. Then just two hours ago, XRP. Harry says, no breakout last night. Adjusted this back to the daily charts. Looks like any breakout is possibly, is probably tomorrow now, to be honest. Let me blow up this chart for you. So Harry's saying we did touch that, but it looks like give it another day, and then we're going to finally blow past that dollar nine. The region's above a dollar nine. We have a dollar 27. Then we go to like a dollar 60 something. And then from there, the skies are clear all the way up over $2, people. So let's keep our eyes open here. It's exciting times, you know? I know like like myself, I know many of you the past two nights, it was hard to sleep. You just kept refreshing. You kept looking at that price of XRP. To see XRP above a dollar is a glorious thing. We have waited so long, but you know what's going to be even better? When XRP's price is over its last all-time high in 2017. When it breaks at $3.60, $3.70 all time high. You want to know what else is interesting? Remember who remembers? I know I was around. Maybe you weren't around. But 2017, coin market cap pulled 
the Korean price feed of XRP because it was that much higher. It was making XRP's total market cap that much greater. It was about to overtake. It actually did overtake Bitcoin at one at one instance until coin market cap. I don't know who owned it back then until they pulled the price feed. They made it seem like XRP had a major crash. Well, guess what just happened? And guess who owns coin market cap right now? CZ Binance. Guess what CZ Binance decided to do? And this was just noticed last night. He decided to remove the Korean price feed once again. The question is why? Why are you removing the Korean price feed? It's a little ridiculous. I actually had someone DM me asking them, asking me where they can see the price of XRP in the Asian markets. I was like, well, you used to be able to go to coin market cap, now you can't. But here's what I'm thinking here. By removing the feed. It puts the XRP price that much lower. I mean, you're going a good 10 cents. And it protects BNB from being the third digital asset of coin market cap. Little manipulation here, don't you think? The Korean price feed was shown all the way up until yesterday and CZ Binance decided to pull it. Some bull crap if you ask me, people. All right, let's get going. Let's get to news from Crypto Code. Check this out. Settle to enable cross-border payments and FX with Ripple's partner Currency Cloud. This just came out this morning. European mobile payments pioneer Settle Group, provider, provider of the mobile payment service Settle, and 22 EU markets has partnered with Currency Cloud, a leading provider of B2B embedded cross-border solutions to add foreign exchange and cross-border payments for its invoice financing and factoring customers across Europe. Massive news, more partnerships being built out. Love to see it. And then from my man, Dictator Noda, Lord Lionel. SBI Remit and Unipay International form a business alliance. And the international remittance business, business remittance to China is now more convenient. This tweet came from Yoshi Kakakatao. If you, for one second, don't believe that XRP is going to be used... To bridge transactions coming in and out of China, I don't know what to tell you. This is a huge win. SBI is a monster, people. You need to wake up and realize that. And from XRP Crypto, well, we covered this yesterday. A bunch of the exchanges were gearing up. I'm telling you, listen to me. They're gearing up to relist XRP. We now see Bitrix load up on nine million and five hundred thousand XRP. It is coming, people. Oh, look at this. The wallet of Bitrix has a 258 million XRP bounce. What does Bitrix need 258 million XRP? Because they are about to relist it. And then Brad Gollinghouse, here's the tweet. And we're going to run with this for the rest of the video, people. Stay tuned. Brad Gollinghouse says, today was a good day. Period. Yes, it was, sir. Yes, it was. Let's get into it. Up first, Johnny Deaton. He said, I said that charging Brad Gollinghouse and Chris Lawson would, would prove to be a mistake. If there's no fraud, there's no fraud. And that was a bullying tactic. John called us back at the end of March that the SEC is trying to bully Brad and Chris by coming after them. John says, remember what I said about how you deal with a bully? You punch him in the face. Well, the SEC just got punched in the face. Judge Torres has agreed with Ripple on some of the biggest, the biggest pieces to come from this case so far. We're about to get into that. Johnny Deaton, Ripple identified 19 custodians. SEC passed the present employees that Ripple wants the SEC to search emails, etc. It includes Hester Pierce, Jay Clayton, Elon Roseman, Berger, Bill Hanman, etc. that are on the list. The SEC objected to Clayton, Hanman, and Lester. So what's going on here? I'll tell you what's going on. Ripple filing got granted. The SEC will now have to search all the previous documents for anything related to Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and hand over those documents. Remember, we covered this about, about a month ago. I think it was like 50,000 pages, something absurd, 10,000 pages of documents that included the search terms Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP from the SEC. The SEC put up a fight. We're not handing these documents over. This has nothing to do with the case. Yeah, not so quick because the judge said you need to hand them over. Now, why would the judge sit there and waste time of both parties 
if she didn't want them, if she didn't believe anything was in these documents. Clearly, she believes that these documents are valuable to this case. There is a reason. Because the SEC is hiding information. And I'm going to get into that a little bit further. Let me jump to that tweet after. Let's continue to trend here. From Rob XRP1, this was the biggest news that came out. Listen to this and listen to me closely. Discovery by Ripple into the SEC. Bitcoin and Ethereum and XRP internal to external information has been granted. So Ripple is going to get all the information from the SEC on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP. But what else came out of this? Was the SEC lawyers stood up yesterday in front of the judge. Listen to my words here. This is what they said. They said that their statements back in 2018, when they said, when Jay Clayton said that Bitcoin and Ethereum were not securities, the SEC's lawyer said yesterday that those statements made were not official statements by the SEC. The SEC lawyer told this to the judge. So who said in Bitcoin and Ethereum were not securities? Because the SEC just told you yesterday that they never said that. They were not official statements. So now you have the possibility of Bitcoin and Ethereum being taken up by the SEC. Who's going to stand in front of the judge? When, when she wants to know all about Bitcoin and all about its initial coin offering that it had or what it does. Serious question. Read my post from yesterday. Who's going to defend Bitcoin? Great answers in the quest. Everyone thinks it's going to be Pop or Craig Wright. I mean, Craig Wright says he's Satoshi, right? Pop is the biggest cheerleader. I don't even think Pop owns Bitcoin, just to be honest. So who's going to defend Bitcoin, people? That's what I want to know. And in Ethereum, how many times have we showed you the video of Italic Buter and standing on stage saying we are having an initial coin offering to help raise money for the Ethereum Foundation? Ripple never had an initial coin offering because Ripple didn't create XRP. OpenCoin did. OpenCoin then granted the developers of the ledger granted XRP to Ripple. You have Vitalik Buterin standing on stage telling you he's having an ICO. That screams security all over it. Bitcoiners, the miners, what do they do? They get Bitcoin to fund their operations to pay for electricity. Sounds like a security to me. So who's going to defend these? And now you see Jay Clayton ran to a firm that's heavily invested in Bitcoin and Ethereum. He never even made an official statement, but he made it he made it out to be like he was giving clearance to Bitcoin and Ethereum. He needs to be investigated. Plain and simple people. Absolutely ridiculous. But listen, back to Brad's tweet. Yes, today was a good day. Ripple got the motion granted. They will be handed over all the documents from the SEC that pertain to searches Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP. And they also had the SEC come out, stand in front of the judge, and say that they have never given clearance to Bitcoin or Ethereum. Well, you know what? You dug yourself in a hole. Because if you never gave them clearance, why are you trying to say, or why are you trying to compare XRP to Bitcoin and Ethereum, showing how it's not like them, and that's what makes it a security, if you never even gave clearance to Bitcoin or Ethereum? This is massive. And I don't know if you caught Jeremy Hogan's video yesterday. He said, we might possibly see a settlement next month from the SEC. Something to keep your eyes out on, something to look forward to. He says, you know, they probably don't want to go through 50,000 pages of document. And they probably have information in it that they don't want to give out. So they might just be looking to settle and get out of this case altogether. But you know what? I think Brian and Chris smell blood. I think Brian and Chris are going after them. I think they're going to go after them for a whole lot of money. I think we're going to get more than clarity. I think there is going to be bigger takeaways from this court case, people. 
and then to follow it up. The scary part is we don't even know what utility would do to the price of XRP. This thing just ran up to a dollar. It was dead forever at 33 cents, 20 cents, and it shoots up to a dollar without utility. What is utility going to do to the price once we see all these corridors, all these central banks ramp up and stop bridging through the XRP ledger? Or we see Mojo Loop take over with the ILP and using XRP as the last settlement mile? The time's coming. They've been building for the past three to four years. The time is coming. I'm telling you, we have two multipliers to the price of XRP, which is why we will see at least a double-digit XRP this year. You have the SEC versus Ripple court case being settled, getting over with, and then you have the exchanges relisted in XRP. The higher the price goes now, the better off the multiplier. Would you rather have a 40x at 50 cents or a 40x at $1? At one dollar, so let this price keep running. Let's get up to an all-time high. Let us get up to five dollars. Then let's get that multiplier kicking in, people. Big, big times ahead for us. This is going to be a massive year. This is going to be the year of XRP. Bitcoin's in a lot of trouble. Ethereum is in a lot of trouble. Their little diamond hands looks like they're turning into lettuce hands. I'm gonna leave it at that. Listen, I gotta get ready for work. It's late. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.